Here's an update since the last time I had explained from coming back from 11 days of vacation. I had cleaned up a lot of my gardens. Some were left empty and others were left with a little bit of sanitizing solution. But when I came back, the only plants that I had going were cucumbers, cauliflower, peppers, and tomatoes. The microdwarf tomato plants were in the Arrow Garden Bounty over here and they were just too far gone. I tried to uh, refresh the nutrients and hoped that I could get a couple uh, cuttings going off of it, but the entire three plants that were up there had to be pulled and that garden is currently being cleaned up. The cauliflower plant that I had growing in a six gallon container, same situation, too far gone, uh, refreshed the nutrients on it, but it never came back and that was being pulled as well. So I have that in a state of cleaning also, but I did want to mention that I've got all the other gardens back up and running right now and some exciting new things for me, some things I've not grown before. So the air garden sprouts, that are down on the bottom shelf here. On the far left, I have one cascading petunia in the first sprout. First time for me growing flowers, and I'm hoping to be able to do some experimenting, uh, taking cuttings, cloning, and possibly putting uh, some of those outside. The uh, middle sprout has a Turkish eggplant, and of all the eggplants, I selected that one because of two reasons. One is it's parthenocarpic and I won't have to do any uh, manual pollination. The other is because it has just a uh, beautiful uh, color to the uh, fruit when ripe. The last small sprout that you see is an experiment with green beans. It'll be uh, first time uh, growing those as well. Uh, green beans have some health benefits such as being able to help lower LDL bad cholesterol. So I am looking at uh, integrating in some plants that will be more health conscious instead of plants that I've grown in the past. The bounty that is on the uh, right hand side, the larger unit, has broccoli and typically in an air garden you wouldn't grow all nine plant sites with broccoli but because broccoli leaves are very healthy I'm going to grow those to uh, baby green size and harvest those to make a salad. That's something new for me also. This is going to be a fun one. On the top shelf uh, this 40 watt air garden bounty has a uh, six of the nine sites that are planted. The three back sites I've got blocked off using covers or plant spacers, however you want to call those. Over here on this side, these are a variety of romaine lettuce called Vivian, and those plants get quite large. And on the right hand side, I've got three of another type of romaine lettuce called Jericho. And Jericho is another one that gets quite large. So this is going to be kind of a uh, grow off to find out which variety is the one that I would most like to grow in terms of its uh, flavor profile as well as its growth uh, characteristics. I won't be able to keep all six in there so I will probably start by taking out the front uh, two and eating those when they're a little bit smaller sized. Then the next ones I'll probably remove will be these two inner ones when they're a little bit uh, larger, medium sized. And then the two outer ones, I will continue to grow, hopefully. We'll find out exactly how large those get. I'll explain a little bit more about what I find when I do my following update. These New Mex Easter uh, ornamental pepper plants are about the only thing that really survived during the time that I was away. In spite of neglect, they've continued to look lush, dark green peppers. They are edible, and I am considering adding those to a sauce. And the gardens that I've been showing you, the uh, ones on the gray shelves, the white gardens, those are arrow gardens. Peppers are in what is called a tree can seven site garden with a 20 watt light. This is another new unit from a company called a Hope Garden. That's all one word. And it has a 20 watt light. Also, I like these two units because the light deck 
up here, or the white hood, goes almost all the way down to the deck and maximizes the amount of uh, PPFD over young plants that are growing. I'm doing a test right now with a variety of lettuce called Dark Rodin. It has a beautiful uh, reddish purple color. I've got the four corners planted out. I'm going to uh, find out how well this uh, particular unit works. As I mentioned, I just uh, happened to pick this up rather recently. This Air Garden Bounty Elite has 50 watts to it. I've planted out all nine sites with Toy Pack Choy. And the reason I'm growing that is it also has health benefits and vitamins that should be uh, good for me to start integrating into my diet on a more regular basis. Nine sites are a little crowded for pak choy, but since I'm going to be harvesting these as um, baby greens, it's going to work out nicely for me. And there's the possibility that I may pick some of it and allow some of the uh, heads to grow to maturity. I'll have the best of both worlds uh, with this particular setup. This is two cucumber clones. I've cloning off of the mother plant, one after another after another. And it's a little haggard looking right now. These actually, uh, were put in here November 22nd of last year. It's currently March 24th. It's about time to uh, refresh or pull these plants, but I'm still getting nice size cucumbers. This is a parthenocarpic uh, variety called Isnik. Last thing I'm going to show you is another Aragarden sprout. I had three clone cuttings that were placed into it. It did not uh, survive being away that long. It has a smallish uh, reservoir. I will be cleaning this up, doing something different with it. The other thing that is new that I have not uh, had up in the past has been the light on the right. It is a uh, Spider Farmer SF1000 grow light. It's 100 watts, has a dimmer on it. It is daisy chainable, but I find that the 100 watt LED lights do quite well in a two foot by two foot space. As a matter of fact, the light on the left hand side is from Vibosun. It's a 100 watt light also, and that's what I have over the cucumber plants. So that's the update that I have for you. And uh, not a lot of activity right now. Like I said, uh, most of these were planted yesterday. However, in the near future, I will be able to uh, share out a little bit more. I've got some new ideas, some new products that I haven't seen today. I'll be glad to share everything out with you as I continue to grow indoors.